Hungarian language, Hungarian, is a Finno-Ugric language spoken in Hungary and several neighboring countries. It is the official language of Hungary and one of the 24 official languages of the European Union. Outside Hungary it is also spoken by communities of Hungarians in the countries that today make up Slovakia, Western Ukraine, Subcarpathia, Central and Western Romania, Transylvania, Northern Serbia, Vojvodina, Northern Croatia, and Northern Slovenia, Mer region. It is also spoken by Hungarian diaspora communities worldwide, especially in North America, particularly the United States and Canada, and in Israel. Like Finnish and Estonian, Hungarian belongs to the Uralic language family. Hungarian is a member of the Uralic language family. Linguistic connections between Hungarian and other Uralic languages were noticed in the 1670s, and the family itself, then called Finno Ugric, was established in 1717. But the classification of Hungarian as a Uralic slash Finno Ugric rather than Turkic language continued to be a matter of impassioned political controversy throughout the 18th and into the 19th centuries. Hungarian has traditionally been assigned to an Ugric branch within Uralic slash Finno Ugric, along with the Mansi and Kandi languages of Western Siberia, Kandi Mansia region, but it is no longer clear that it is a valid group. When the Samoyed languages were determined to be part of the family, it was thought at first that Finnic and Ugric, Finno-Ugric, were closer to each other than to the Samoyed branch of the family, but that now is frequently questioned. The name of Hungary could be a result of regular sound changes of Ungrian slash Ugrian, and the fact that the Eastern Slavs referred to Hungarians as Ogri slash Ogrov, S.G. Ogrinu, seemed to confirm that. Current literature favors the hypothesis that it comes from the name of the Turkic tribe Onagar, which means Daenerys or Ten Tribes. There are numerous regular sound correspondences between Hungarian and the other Ugric languages. For example, Hungarian corresponds to Kandi in certain positions, and Hungarian corresponds to Kandi, while Hungarian final corresponds to Kandi final. For example, Hungarian Oshaus versus Kandi Zothaus, and Hungarian Sis 100 versus Kandi Sot 100. The distance between the Ugric and Finnic languages is greater, but the correspondences are also regular. During the latter half of the 19th century, a competing hypothesis proposed a Turkic affinity of Hungarian. Following an academic debate known as Az Ugur Tarakabaru, the Ugric Turkic battle, the Finno Ugric hypothesis was concluded the sounder of the two, foremost based on work by the German linguist. The traditional view holds that the Hungarian language diverged from its Ugric relatives in the first half of the first millennium, in western Siberia east of the southern Urals. The Hungarians gradually changed their lifestyle from being settled hunters to being nomadic pastoralists, probably as a result of early contacts with Iranian nomads, Scythians and Sarmatians. In Hungarian, Iranian loanwords date back to the time immediately following the breakup of Ugric and probably span well over a millennium. Among these include Tenkau, cf. Avestin Danu, Tis Ten, cf. Avestin Dasa, Tejmilk, cf. Persian Dahe Wet Nurse and Nabrid, from late Middle Iranian, cf. Middle Persian Ne. Archaeological evidence from present-day southern Bashkortostan confirms the existence of Hungarian settlements between the Volga River and Ural Mountains. The Onagers, and Bulgars, later had a great influence on the language, especially between the 5th and 9th centuries. This layer of Turkic loans is large and varied, for example, so word, from Turkic, Dar Crane, from the related Permic languages, and includes words borrowed from Ogre Turkic, for example, Borjukaf, CF. Chuvash Paru, PARAV versus Turkish Buzag, Del Noon, South, CF. Chuvash TEL versus Turkish Dial. Des. Many words related to agriculture, state administration, and even family relationships show evidence of such backgrounds. Hungarian syntax and grammar were not influenced in a similarly dramatic way over these three centuries. After the arrival of the Hungarians in the Carpathian Basin, the language came into contact with a variety of speech communities, among them Slavic, Turkic, and German. Turkic loans from this period come mainly from the Pashanegs and Cumanians, who settled in Hungary during the 12th and 13th centuries, for example, Tobos Kabsa, cf. Turkish Kopuzlut, Komandor Mopdog, less than Kumandor Cuman. Hungarian borrowed many words from neighboring Slavic languages, for example, Teglabrik, Mok Poppy, Karoxini Christmas. These languages in turn borrowed words from Hungarian, for example, Serbo-Croatian Asaf from Hung also spade. 
Approximately 1.6% of the Romanian lexicon is of Hungarian origin. Hungarian historian and archaeologist Yula Laszlo claims that geological data from pollen analysis seems to contradict the placing of the ancient Hungarian homeland near the Urals. There have been attempts, dismissed by mainstream linguists as pseudoscientific comparisons, to show that Hungarian is related to other languages, such as Hebrew, Hunnic, Sumerian, Egyptian, Etruscan, Basque, Persian, Pelasgian, Greek, Chinese, Sanskrit, English, Tibetan, Magar, Quechua, Armenian, Japanese, and at least 40 other languages. Today the consensus among linguists is that Hungarian is a member of the Uralic family of languages. For many years, however, it was a matter of dispute whether Hungarian was a finno ugric slash uralic language or more closely related to the Turkic languages a controversy known as the Ugric-Turkish War or whether indeed both the Uralic and the Turkic families formed part of a superfamily of Ural-Altaic languages. Hungarians did in fact absorb some Turkic influences during several centuries of cohabitation. For example, the Hungarians appear to have learned animal husbandry techniques from the Turkic Chuvash people as a high proportion of words specific to agriculture and livestock are of Chuvash origin. A strong Chuvash influence was also apparent in Hungarian burial customs. Furthermore, all Ugric languages, not only Hungarian, feature Turkic loanwords related to horse riding. The first written accounts of Hungarian, mostly personal name and place names, date to the 10th century. No significant texts written in Old Hungarian script have survived, as would, the medium of writing and use at the time was perishable. The Kingdom of Hungary was founded in 1000 by Stephen I. The country became a Western-styled Christian, Roman Catholic, state, with Latin script replacing Hungarian runes. The earliest remaining fragments of the language are found in the establishing charter of the Abbey of Tyane from 1055, intermingled with Latin text. The first extant text fully written in Hungarian is the Funeral Sermon and Prayer which dates to the 1190s. Although the orthography of these early texts differed considerably from that used today, contemporary Hungarians can still understand a great deal of their constructed spoken language, despite changes in grammar and vocabulary. A more extensive body of Hungarian literature arose after 1300. The earliest known example of Hungarian religious poetry is the 14th century Lamentations of Mary. The first Bible translation was the Hussite Bible in the 1430s. The standard language lost its diphthongs, and several postpositions transformed into suffixes, including ria onto. The phrase uta ria onto the way found in the 1055 text would later become utra. There were also changes in the system of vowel harmony. At one time, Hungarian used six verb tenses. Today, only two are commonly used present and past. The future is formed with an auxiliary verb and is usually not counted as a separate tense. In 1533, Krakow printer Benedek Kamiati published the first Hungarian language book set in movable type, a translation of the letters of St. Paul entitled Az Szent Paul Luli Magyar Nyelven, Modern Orthography, Az Szent Paul Levelai Magyar Nyelven. By the 17th century, the language already closely resembled its present day form, although two of the past tenses remained in use. German, Italian, and French loans also began to appear. Further Turkish words were borrowed during the period of Ottoman rule, 1541-1699. In the 18th century a group of writers, most notably Ferenc Kaczynski, spearheaded a process of Nael Vujitas, language revitalization. Some words were shortened, Gyozadelum Gyozelum, Triumph or Victory, a number of dialectal words spread nationally, for example, Che Yang Dadal, extinct words were reintroduced, Dis. Decor, a wide range of expressions were coined using the various derivative suffixes, and some other, less frequently used methods of expanding the language were utilized. This movement produced more than 10,000 words, most of which are used actively today. The 19th and 20th centuries saw further standardization of the language, and differences between mutually comprehensible dialects gradually diminished. In 1920, Hungary signed the Treaty of Trianon losing 71% of its territory and one-third of the ethnic Hungarian population along with it. Today the language holds official status nationally in Hungary and regionally in Romania, Slovakia, Serbia, Austria, and Slovenia. Hungarian has about 13 million native speakers, of whom more than 9.8 million live in Hungary. 
According to the 2011 Hungarian census 9,896,333 people, 99.6% of the total population, speak Hungarian, of whom 9,827,875 people, 98.9%, .9 speak it as a first language, while 68,458 people, 0.7%, speak it as a second language. About 2.2 million speakers live in areas that were part of the Kingdom of Hungary before the Treaty of Trianon 1920. Of these, the largest group lives in Transylvania, the western half of present-day Romania, where there are approximately 1.25 million Hungarians. There are large Hungarian communities also in Slovakia, Serbia, and Ukraine, and Hungarians can also be found in Austria, Croatia, and Slovenia, as well as about a million additional people scattered in other parts of the world. For example, there are more than 100,000 Hungarian speakers in the Hungarian-American community and 1.5 million with Hungarian ancestry in the United States. Hungarian is the official language of Hungary, and thus an official language of the European Union. Hungarian is also one of the official languages of Vojvodina and an official language of three municipalities in Slovenia, Hodos, Dobrovnik, and Landava, along with Slovene. Hungarian is officially recognized as a minority regional language in Austria, Croatia, Romania, Zakarpatia in Ukraine, and Slovakia. In Romania it is a recognized minority language used at local level in communes, towns and municipalities with an ethnic Hungarian population of over 20%. The dialects of Hungarian identified by Ethnologar, Alfold, West Danube, Danube Tisa, Kings Pass Hungarian, Northeast Hungarian. Northwest Hungarian, Sheke, and West Hungarian. These dialects are, for the most part, mutually intelligible. The Hungarian Chango dialect, which is mentioned but not listed separately by ethnologue, is spoken primarily in Bacau County in eastern Romania. The Chango Hungarian group has been largely isolated from other Hungarian people, and they therefore preserved features that closely resemble earlier forms of Hungarian. Hungarian has 14 vowel phonemes and 25 consonant phonemes. The vowel phonemes can be grouped as pairs of short and long vowels such as O and O. Most of the pairs have a similar pronunciation and very significantly only in their duration. However, pairs A, A and E, E differ both in closeness and length. Consonant length is also distinctive in Hungarian. Most consonant phonemes can occur as geminates. The sound voice palatal plosive, written, sounds similar to D in British English duty, in fact, it is more similar to the Macedonian phoneme as in Comedikan, from Diakon. It occurs in the name of the country, Magyarstzog, Hungary, pronounced. A single R is pronounced as an alveolar tap, Akura of that size, but a double R is pronounced as an alveolar trill, Akura by that time, like in Spanish. Primary stress is always on the first syllable of the word, as in Finnish and the neighboring Slovak and Czech. There is a secondary stress on other syllables in compounds, the Zantlatazra, goodbye, is pronounced. Elongated vowels in non-initial syllables may seem to be stressed to an English speaker, as length and stress correlate in English. Hungarian, an agglutinative language, uses various affixes, mainly suffixes but also some prefixes and a circumfix, to change a word's meaning in its grammatical function. Hungarian uses vowel harmony to attach suffixes to words. That means that most suffixes have two or three different forms, and the choice between them depends on the vowels of the head word. There are some minor and unpredictable exceptions to the rule. Nouns have a large number of cases, between 18 and 35, depending on the definition, but they are generally formed regularly with suffixes stop the nominative cases unmarked, as alma the apple, and, for example, the accusative is marked with the suffix t, as alma I eat, the apple. Half of the 18 cases express a combination of the source location target and surface and side proximity ternary distinctions, 3 times 3 cases, there is a separate case ending, bowl, bowl meaning a combination of source and insideness, from inside of. Possession is expressed by a possessive suffix on the possessed object, rather than a possessor as in English, Peter's apple becomes Peter Almaja, literally Peter apple his. Noun plurals are formed with K, as the apples. But after a numeral, the singular is used, Ketalma two apples, literally two apple, not Ketalma. Unlike English, Hungarian uses case suffixes and mostly postpositions, instead of prepositions. There are two types of articles in Hungarian, 
definite and indefinite, which roughly correspond to the equivalents in English. Adjectives precede nouns, a pyrosalma the red apple, and have three degrees, positive, pyros red, comparative, pyrosa redder, and superlative alike pyros of the redest. If the noun takes the plural or a case, an attributive adjective is invariable, a pyrosal mock the red apples. However, a predicative adjective agrees with the noun, as all mock perosoc the apples are red. Adjectives by themselves can behave as nouns, and so can take case suffixes, meal you call mockert? Dash a pyrosat. Which apple would you like? Dash the red one. Verbs are conjugated according to two tenses, past and present, three moods, indicative, conditional and imperative subjunctive, two numbers, singular or plural, three persons, first, second and third, and definiteness. The last feature is most characteristic, the definite conjugation is used with a transitive verb whose, direct, object is definite, Peter eats almut. Peter eats the apple, but the indefinite conjugation either for a verb with an indefinite direct object, Peter is eg y almut. Peter eats an apple, or for a verb without an object. Pederizic. Peter eats. Since conjugation expresses the person and number, personal pronouns are usually omitted except for emphasis. The present tense is unmarked, and the past is formed by using the suffix t or tt, hall hears, halot heard, past dot future may be expressed with the present tense, usually with a word defining the time of the event, whole not tomorrow, or by using the auxiliary verb fog, similar to the English will, followed by the infinitive. The indicative mood and the conditional mood are used both in the present and the past tenses. The conditional past is expressed by using the conjugated past form in the auxiliary word valna, halat valna would have heard. The imperative mood is used only in the present tense. Verbs have verbal prefixes, which are also known as cuverbs. Most of them define direction of movement, lemaji goes down, felmaji goes up. Some verbal prefixes give an aspect to the verb, such as the prefix meg which generally marks stilicity. Vowel harmony also plays a major role in verb conjugations. All Hungarian verb conjugations, as well as postpositions and possessive suffixes, for that matter, can be thought of as templates into which vowels are inserted. Based on the nature of a verb's infinitive, which always ends in me, one can create a generic template, which has mostly consonants. The vowels are then inserted into the template according to the rules of vowel harmony, based on the categorization of the vowel in the verb root, front, back, rounded, unrounded. The neutral word order is subject-verb-object, SVO. However, Hungarian, a topic-prominent language, has a word order that depends not only on syntax but also on the topic comment structure of the sentence, for example, what aspect is assumed to be known and what is emphasized. A Hungarian sentence generally has the following order, topic, comment, or focus, verb and the rest. The topic shows that the proposition is only for that particular thing or aspect, and it implies that the proposition is not true for some others. For example, in Azalmat Janoslatja, it is John who sees the apple. Literally the apple John sees, the apple is in the topic, implying that other objects may be seen by not him but other people, the pair may be seen by Peter. The topic part may be empty. The focus shows the new information for the listeners that may not have been known or that their knowledge must be corrected. For example, and Vajo Kazapad. I am your father. Literally, it is I who am your father. From the movie The Empire Strikes Back, the pronoun I, N, is in the focus and implies that it is new information, and the listener thought that someone else is his father. Although Hungarian is sometimes described as having free word order. Different word orders are generally not interchangeable, and the neutral order is not always correct to use. Also, the intonation is also different with different topic comment structures. The topic usually has a rising intonation, the focus having a falling intonation. In the following examples, the topic is marked with italics, and the focus, comment, is marked with boldface. Hungarian has a four-tiered system for expressing levels of politeness. From highest to lowest, the four-tiered system has somewhat been eroded due to the recent expansion of takeazode. Some anomalies emerged with the arrival of multinational companies who have addressed their customers in the te, least polite, form right from the beginning of their presence in Hungary. A typical example is the Swedish furniture shop IKEA, whose website and other publications address the customers in te form. When a new site asked IKEA, using the te form, why they address their customers this way, 
IKEA's PR manager explained in his answer, using the on form, that their way of communication reflects IKEA's open mindedness and the Swedish culture. However, IKEA in France used the most polite, VU, form. Another example is the communication of Telenor, a mobile network operator, towards its customers. Tinlanur chose to communicate towards business customers in the polite on form while all other customers are addressed in the less polite A form. Giving an accurate estimate for the total word count is difficult, since it is hard to define what to call a word in agglutinating languages, due to the existence of affix words and compound words. To have a meaningful definition of compound words, we have to exclude such compounds whose meaning is the mere sum of its elements. The largest dictionaries from Hungarian to another language contain 120,000 words and phrases, but this may include redundant phrases as well, because of translation issues. The new desk lexicon of the Hungarian language contains 75,000 words and the comprehensive dictionary of Hungarian language, to be published in 18 volumes in the next 20 years, will contain 110,000 words. The default Hungarian lexicon is usually estimated to comprise 60,000 to 100,000 words. Independently of specific languages, speakers actively use at most 10,000 to 20,000 words, with an average intellectualizing 25 to 30,000 words. However, all the Hungarian lexemes collected from technical texts, dialects, etc., would altogether add up to 1 million words. Parts of the lexicon can be organized using word bushes. See an example on the right. The words in these bushes share a common root, are related through inflection, derivation, and compounding and are usually broadly related in meaning. The basic vocabulary shares some hundreds word roots with other Uralic languages like Finnish, Estonian, Monsi, and Kandi. Examples of such include the verb Ailev, Finnish Ala, the numbers Keto 2, Harom 3, Neji 4, CF. Monsi Kittig, Kurum, Nila, Finnish Kaxi, Kom, Nelia, Estonian Kax, Kom, Neli, as well as Viz Water, Kes Hand, Ver Blood, Fich Head. CF. Finnish and Estonian the C, KC, Vera, Finnish Pa, Estonian P or Pa. Words for elementary kinship and nature are more Ugric, less R Turkic, and less Slavic. Agricultural words are about 50% R Turkic and 50% Slavic. Pastoral terms are more R Turkic, less Ugric, and less Slavic. Finally, Christian and state terminology is more Slavic and less R Turkic. The Slavic is most probably Proto Slovakian and or Slovenian. This is easily understood in the Uralic paradigm. Proto Magyars were first similar to Obiagars who were mainly hunters, fishers, and gatherers, but with some horses, too. Then they accultured to Bulgarian R Turks, so the older layer of agriculture words wine, beer, wheat, barley, and sea are purely R Turkic, and also lots of termini of statesmanship and religion were, too. Except for a few Latin and Greek loanwords, these differences are unnoticed even by native speakers. The words have been entirely adopted into the Hungarian lexicon. There are an increasing number of English loanwords, especially in technical fields. Another source differs in that loanwords in Hungarian are held to constitute about 45% of bases in the language. Although the lexical percentage of native words in Hungarian is 55%, their use accounts for 88.4% of all words used, the percentage of loanwords used being just 11.6%. Therefore, the history of Hungarian has come, especially since the 19th century, to favor neologisms from original bases, while still having developed as many terms from neighboring languages in the lexicon. Words can be compounds or derived. Most derivation is with suffixes, but there is a small set of derivational prefixes as well. Compounds have been present in the language since the Proto-Uralic era. Numerous ancient compounds transformed to base words during the centuries. Today, Compounds play an important role in vocabulary. A good example is the word arc. Compounds are made up of two base words. The first is the prefix, the latter is the suffix. A compound can be subordinative, the prefix is in logical connection with the suffix. If the prefix is the subject of the suffix, the compound is generally classified as a subjective one. There are objective, determinative, and adjunctive compounds as well. Some examples are given below. According to current orthographic rules, a subordinative compound word has to be written as a single word, without spaces, however, if the length of a compound of three or more words, not counting one-syllable verbal prefixes, is seven or more syllables long, not counting case suffixes, 
A hyphen must be inserted at appropriate boundary to ease the determination of word boundaries for the reader. Other compound words are coordinatives. There is no concrete relation between the prefix and the suffix. Subcategories include word duplications, to emphasize a meaning, alacor alacor really occasionally, twin words, where a base word and a distorted form of it makes up a compound, gizgiz, where the suffix gas means weed and the prefix gis is the distorted form, the compound itself means inconsiderable weed, and such compounds which have meanings, but neither their prefixes, nor their suffixes make sense, for example, hertz or a complex, obsolete procedures. A compound also can be made up by multiple, i.e., more than two, base words, in this case, at least one word element, or even both the prefix and the suffix is a compound. Some examples. Hungarian words for the points of the compass are directly derived from the position of the sun during the day in the northern hemisphere. There are two basic words for red in Hungarian, piros and voros, variant, veras, compare with Estonian verov or Finnish punainen. They are basic in the sense that one is not a subtype of the other, as the English scarlet is of red, the word voros is related to ver, meaning blood, Finnish and Estonian vera. When they refer to an actual difference in color, as on a color chart, voros usually refers to the deeper darker and or more red and less orange, hue of red. In English similar differences exist between scarlet and red. While many languages have multiple names for this color, Often Hungarian scholars assume this is unique in recognizing two shades of red as separate and distinct folk colors. However, the two words are also used independently of the above in collocations. Pyros is learned by children first, as it is generally used to describe inanimate, artificial things, or things seen as cheerful or neutral, while voros typically refers to animate or natural things, biological, geological, physical and astronomical objects, as well as serious or emotionally charged subjects. When the rules outlined above are in contradiction, typical collocations usually prevail. In some cases where a typical collocation does not exist, the use of either of the two words may be equally adequate. Examples The Hungarian words for brothers and sisters are differentiated based upon relative age. There is also a general word for sibling, test for, from test body and bear blood, i.e., originating from the same body and blood. In addition, there are separate prefixes for several ancestors and descendants. The words for boy and girl are applied with possessive suffixes. Nevertheless, the terms are differentiated with different declension or lexemes. Via is only used in this, irregular possessive form, it has no nominative on its own, see inalienable possession. However, the word few can also take terregular suffix, in which case the resulting word, fuja, will refer to a lover or partner boyfriend, rather than a male offspring. The word few, boy, is also often noted as an extreme example of the ability of the language to add suffixes to a word, by forming fia a, adding vowel form suffixes only, where the result is quite a frequently used word. The above word is often considered to be the longest word in Hungarian, although there are longer words like. Words of such length are not used in practice, but when spoken they are easily understood by natives. They were invented to show, in a somewhat facetious way, the ability of the language to form long words, see agglutinative language. They are not compound words, they are formed by adding a series of oni and two-syllable suffixes, and a few prefixes, to a simple root, sent, saint or holy. There is virtually no limit for the length of words, but when too many suffixes are added, the meaning of the word becomes less clear, and the word becomes sharp to understand, and will work like a riddle even for native speakers. The English word best known as being of Hungarian origin is probably paprika, from Serbo-Croatian paper pepper in the Hungarian diminutive ka. The most common however is coach, from coxy, originally coxy secair car from slash in the style of cox. Others are. The Hungarian language was originally written in right-to-left Old Hungarian runes, superficially similar in appearance to the better-known Futark runes Budin related. When Stephen I of Hungary established the Kingdom of Hungary in the year 1000, the old system was gradually discarded in favor of the Latin alphabet on left to right order. Although now not used at all in everyday life, the old script is still known and practiced by some enthusiasts. Modern Hungarian is written using an expanded Latin alphabet, and has a phonemic orthography, i.e. pronunciation can generally be predicted from the written language. In addition to the standard letters of the Latin alphabet, 
Hungarian uses several modified Latin characters to represent the additional vowel sounds of the language. These include letters with acute accents, a, e, e, o, u acute, to represent long vowels, and umlauts, o and u diaresis, and their long counterparts o and u to represent front vowels. Sometimes, usually as a result of a technical glitch on a computer, or is used for, and for. This is often due to the limitations of the Latin 1, ISO 8859-1 code page. These letters are not part of the Hungarian language, and are considered misprints. Hungarian can be properly represented with the Latin 2, ISO 8859-2 code page, but this code page is not always available. Hungarian is the only language using both and, Unicode includes them, and so they can be used on the internet. Additionally, the letter pairs, and represent the palatal consonants, and, a little like the D plus Y sounds in British do K or American would DYU, a bit like saying D with the tongue pointing to the palate. Hungarian uses for and for, which is the reverse of Polish usage. The letter is and is. These digraphs are considered single letters in the alphabet. The letter is also a single letter digraph, but is pronounced like English, and appears mostly in old words. The letters and are exotic remnants and are hard to find even in longer texts. Some examples still in common use are madzag, string, edzini, to train, athletically, and shsunchal, jungle. Sometimes additional information is required for partitioning words with digraphs, hey sum, street number, equals os, house, plus sum, number, not an unintelligible hey's plus sam. Hungarian distinguishes between long and short vowels, with long vowels written with acutes. It also distinguishes between long and short consonants, with long consonants being doubled. For example, lenai, to be, hajsolas, comment. The digraphs, when doubled, become trigraphs, plus equals, for example move cell, with an artist. But when the digraph occurs at the end of a line, all of the letters are written out. For example, with a bus. When the first lexeme of a compound ends in a digraph and the second lexeme starts with the same digraph, both digraphs are written out, jiji plus guru equals jiji guru, engagement slash wedding ring, jiji means sign, mark. The term jiji and lenai slash jarni means to be engaged, guru means ring. Usually a trigraph is a double digraph, but there are a few exceptions, tis any alk, 18, is a concatenation of tis and plus ni alk. There are doubling minimal pairs, toll, push, versus toll, feather or pen. While to English speakers they may seem unusual at first, once the new orthography and pronunciation are learned, written Hungarian is almost completely phonemic, except for etymological spellings and li, j representing. The word order is basically from general to specific. This is a typical analytical approach and is used generally in Hungarian. The Hungarian language uses the so-called Eastern name order, in which the surname, general, deriving from the family, comes first and the given name comes last. If a second given name is used, this follows the first given name. For clarity, in foreign languages Hungarian names are usually represented in the Western name order. Sometimes, however, especially in the neighboring countries of Hungary, where there is a significant Hungarian population, the Hungarian name order is retained, as it causes less confusion there. For an example of foreign use, the birth name of the Hungarian-born physicist, the father of the hydrogen bomb was Tellerid, but he immigrated to the United States in the 1930s and thus became known as Edward Teller. Prior to the mid-20th century, given names were usually translated along with the name order, this is no longer as common. For example, the pianist uses Andras Schiff when abroad, not Andrew Schiff, in Hungarian Schiff Andras. If a second given name is present, it becomes a middle name and is usually written out in full, rather than truncated to an initial. In modern usage, foreign names retain their order when used in Hungarian. Therefore, before the 20th century, not only was it common to reverse the order of foreign personalities, they were also Hungarianized, Guti Janos Farkas, originally Johann Wolfgang Guta. This usage sounds odd today when only a few well-known personalities are referred to using their Hungarianized names, including Vern Kula, Jules Verne, Marx Karoli, Karl Marx, Columbus Kristof, Christopher Columbus, note that it is also translated in English. Some native speakers disapprove of this usage, the names of certain historical religious personalities, including popes, however, 
are always Hungarianized by practically all speakers, such as Luther Martown, Martin Luther, Hus Janos, Jan Hus, Calvin Janos, John Calvin, just like the names of monarchs, for example the King of Spain, Juan Carlos I is referred to as Ayanos Karoli or the Queen of the UK, Elizabeth II is referred to as Tuerzabet. Japanese names, which are usually written in Western order in the rest of Europe, retain their original order in Hungarian, for example Kurosawa Akira instead of Akira Kurosawa. The Hungarian convention for date and time is to go from the generic to the specific, 1. Year, 2. Month, 3. Day, 4. Hour, 5. Minute, 6. Second. The year and day are always written in Arabic numerals, followed by a full stop. The month can be written by its full name or can be abbreviated, or even denoted by Roman or Arabic numerals. Except for the first case, month written by its full name, the month is followed by a full stop. Usually, when the month is written in letters, there is no leading zero before the day. On the other hand, when the month is written in Arabic numerals, a leading zero is common, but not obligatory. Except at the beginning of a sentence, the name of the month always begins with a lowercase letter. Hours, minutes, and seconds are separated by a colon, HMS. Fractions of a second are separated by a full stop from the rest of the time. Hungary generally uses the 24 hour clock format, but in verbal and written communication, 12 hour clock format can also be used. See below for usage examples. Date and time may be separated by a comma or simply written one after the other. Date separated by hyphen is also spreading, especially on date stamps. Here, just like the version separated by full stops, leading zeros are in use. When only hours and minutes are written in a sentence, so not only displaying time, these parts can be separated by a full stop, for example ta oko zunk 10.35 core. Let's meet at 10.35, or it is also regular to write hours in normal size, and minutes put in superscript, and not necessarily underlined, for example ta oko zo 10 core kestibik or a ta wako zo ten korkestibik. The meeting begins at 10.35. Also, in verbal and written communication it is common to use delulet, literally before noon, and dilutin, lit. Afternoon, abbreviated as de, and do, respectively. Delulet and dilutin is said are written before the time, for example dilutin for or a van. It's 4 p.m. However for example delulet 5 or a, should mean 5 a.m., or dilutin 10 or a should mean 10 p.m., are never used, because at these times the sun is not up, instead Hainal, dawn, red, morning, est, evening, and it's chill, night, is used, however there are no exact rules for the use of these, as everybody uses them according to their habits, for example somebody may have woken up at 5 a.m. so he or she says red 6 core atom. I had food at morning 6, and somebody woke up at 11 a.m. so he or she says Hainali 6 core megayatam. I was still sleeping at dawn 6. Roughly, these expressions mean these times. Although address formatting is increasingly being influenced by standard European conventions, the traditional Hungarian style is Budapest, Dayak Ferenc Ter 1. 1052. So the order is, 1, settlement, most general, 2, street slash square slash etc. More specific, 3, house number, most specific. For who postcode. The house number may be followed by the story and door numbers. The who part before the postcode is only for incoming postal traffic from foreign countries. Addresses on envelopes and postal parcels should be formatted and placed on the right side as follows Name of the recipient settlement street address, up to door number if necessary. Who postcode. Note the stress is always placed on the first syllable of each word. The remaining syllables all receive an equal. Lesser stress. All syllables are pronounced clearly and evenly, even at the end of a sentence, unlike in English. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.